Walking onto the set for the first time was um, was more than just walking onto a set. It's um, it's it's a room that a lot of actors have been in. Yeah. It's, it's not just a set. It's it's the Rovers. Yeah. And my first scene was in the Rovers, um, so I was a little bit squeaky yeah. uh, walking in there. <laughs> um, but what was lovely was my mum. Um, she's passed away about six years ago now. So she was a massive, massive Coronation oh. Street fan. So walking. Like you do here, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You see all the smoke and mirrors with all the um, with all the wood propping the sets mm. up and everything. And it was just walking back to the dark studios onto that. I just, just had a little, you know, she'd oh, be looking down at me. Oh, yeah. 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 Been so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it was Would big, she have been proud moment. of your character, though? Because you're a bit of a nasty bloke, aren't you? <laughs> Not generally in life, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely in life. It's lovely, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just good fun to play a bit of a baddie. Do you it? like? Do you enjoy playing the baddie? Yeah, yeah. It's it's there's, there's you know when you pick a script up, there's somewhere to go with it. So you know there's a there's a bit of you know. Meet but it's out, out of the show, people. isn't it? When you see public, because they so believe in that the characters. That hasn't started yet. Yeah, that, hasn't that started I think yet. would be no. hard. Would be difficult. Yeah. So how did you get the part? I mean, did they bring up? The oh, just and... normal process. Just did, did you going up for an audition. Yeah, had to go did, to Manchester yeah. and you know learn oh, my lines. Were you nervous? Yeah, going for it. Um, yeah, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's a big job and it's one that I needed to nail. Yeah, and, and where were you when you found out you got the part? Uh, in B&Q. I oh, was <laughs> <laughs> Like... I've seen your car many a time. <laughs> oh, really? It's hard to miss. <laughs> <laughs> so, you commute up then, obviously? Um, yeah, um, it's um, just get on the train and it takes about four and a half hours to get up there. So, um, I learned my lines on the way up there. Um, and you've got two little girls? Yeah. Are they, are they at the age where, yeah, so they, they find you the most embarrassing thing that ever crawled across the planet? Um, a little bit, yeah. When you go in a soap, it's, it's the nightmare. Well, for I was kids. on telly the other day. I did this uh, the holiday thing with Len Goodman, and it was on. And Ivy just walked in the living room. She went, "Oh, Dad's on telly." Walked off. Yeah, they're not bothered. <laughs> with you being on television. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. there's no difference in them. Are you, you still know. recognised from Emmerdale? Because of course you were. You were the hunk in Emmerdale. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Um, I've just. Uh, I was doing a play just recently. We, we, we were in Leeds. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I got daved um, in Leeds, and I, it was a bit of a shock actually. I hadn't been daved for a long what while. What happens you know? when you're daved? Oh, just people shout your name, but I hadn't <laughs> had, I hadn't been recognised for that character for, for ages, a long time, yeah. you know. But it doesn't matter where you go. Um, I was, we went, we went on a lovely holiday once, and we were, we were six hours into the jungle in Sri Lanka. Okay. And I mean that's halfway around the world. Yeah, yeah. We're six hours into the jungle and then three hours up a mountain <laughs> to go and see this swimming pool like this monk had chipped out of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good dad for Sri Lanka. <laughs> I've seen a swimming pool and I got daved. I, was, I couldn't it? believe the guy just went, yeah, I do. Like <laughs> I was like, how far do you have to go? You know. I believe it. And you've got a, a big landmark birthday coming up soon, haven't you? Yes. Yes? We want to hear that from the same year. Yeah, we talk a lot about getting to 50. <laughs> <laughs> it's 50. Oh, really? It's celebrate it. um, it's, I'm going off on my own. I'm going to do a... Um, <laughs> I don't want a big party. Um, so I'm, um, I've booked tickets to see um, the Brian Setzer um, big band Christmas extravaganza. Never heard of them. Um, <laughs> and, um, would you say, would you say this concert. is a midlife crisis? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. no. He used to be the guitarist at the Stray Cats. <laughs> All right. Um, so um, yeah, I've booked tickets to You're go see that home? in LA. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to fly into oh. San Francisco <laughs> and then drive down the coast. Oh, to, that sounds uh, great, actually. To, uh, I think it's having a LA. midlife crisis. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got me eye on a Porsche. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where would the kids sit? <laughs> <laughs> so we can expect loads of villainous stuff coming up now with your character and yes, Corey Lewis I'm, I'm, I'm having a bit of fun with um, with Phelan, who's played by uh, Connor McIntyre, who's a brilliant actor. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free. So you'd be silly not to, really.